I'm wondering if all three of these can be playing at the same time. That I don't fully know. So uh, let's walk in another room and see what happens. They finally have it. Wise cameras finally have access to view directly from a web browser. So just a few days ago, Wise, one of my favorite tech companies due to them having reasonably priced tech products, announced that they were adding a feature where you could view Wise cameras from a web browser. So what that of course means is if you're in one of those terrible jobs where they tell you you can't bring your phone into the office, you could still check back on your dog through a uh, website, as long as you can get to the website, of course, from your office computer. So I figured I do a lot of Wise videos. I wanted to show you guys the Wise web view. Now currently, you have to be a Cam Plus member for this, so you have to pay $1.99 per month or pay the annual price to have the Wise web view. It's also only supported on a V2, a V3, and the original pan camera. Although from what I'm understanding, Wise is supposed to add support for all the other cameras. It's just right now those three are the ones it works with. So since I have an original pan, a V2, and a V3, I went and bought licenses for all three cameras, and I've set them up in the room next to me, and we're going to see how the Wise web view works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and now let's get on the computer and do a screen record and check out the Wise web view. And because I know the YouTube community so well, let me add that before you get to your website, you got to enable the Cam Plus. Go into your Wise app, come down here to account, and then go to services. And this is where you can add and manage licenses. I can just select manage license and add more cameras either per year or per month. And then once you have the licenses, you literally just put the check mark next to the camera you're looking to use. So once this is done, then you move on to the website to follow these steps. So the first thing you're gonna do, open up your web browser, whether it's Chrome, Safari, Edge, and go to this website, view.wise.com. I'll of course have a link down in the description, but that's the website. Now. Once you get to this website, you have to log in to your WISE account. You'll want to make sure you're using the exact same login that you're using on your phone where you set up Cam Plus with the cameras, or else this isn't going to work. So the account here that I'm logging into is the, is the same account that I have all of my cameras set up on, and it's the same account that I have my Cam Plus subscription on. So I'm going to say I'm not a robot and select login. Now when you see the screen, don't freak out, okay? I have, as you can see, a lot of WISE cameras and I only paid for three cameras to have Cam Plus so that I could test this feature out for the video. So that's a Wise Cam V2, a Wise Cam V3, and a Wise Cam Pan. So if you click on Learn More, it just tells you, hang on, this requires Cam Plus for now. We're currently beta testing web access to live stream and events with Cam Plus devices only. Sign up for Cam Plus, access a license to a supported device, which is a Cam V2, V3, or Cam Pan. And then why does it require Cam Plus? Basically a little bit of information telling you that for them to enable this feature, it uses more server power at AWS, so WISE gets charged more. So that's kind of why they're having this as a paid option right now. That could change. It may not be a paid option in six months. As of this video, you have to pay $1.99 per camera per month, or like $1.69 if you pay annually. That's just how it works. All of these with the exclamation point, of course, will not work, but the master bedroom camera is a Wise Cam V3, and if I click on it, I get a couple of spinning circle windows like normal, and then I should have my feed of my Wise Cam V3, which is set up in the next room. And as you can see, my Wise Cam V3 is looking at a V2 and a Cam Pan, which the Cam Pan is this living room camera here, if I click on this one, you will then see the Wise Cam V3, like so. You can see the V2, the V3. And then upstairs hallway camera is my old V2 camera, which is looking at the V3 camera as well, as you can see. The only options you have on all of these is to unmute, as you can see. And let me come up here. All right, let me put my sound up just, just so it's there. The only other real option you have, you can't click on the cameras, as you can see. Your only option is pause and continue the live stream, the mute and the unmute, and a full screen that brings it to full screen like this. I'm wondering if all three of these can be playing at the same time. That I don't fully know, so uh, let's walk in another room and see what happens. I guess I won't really know if this works till I'm editing, but either way, let's find out.
I'm really interested to know whether or not that actually worked. So either I saw this only on one camera, which is the last one that I clicked on, or I was able to see it on all three. I'm very, I, I, guess, I guess I shouldn't be surprised since groups work, but I'm surprised that all three of those were live streaming at the same time. That's, that's awesome. Either way, that is sadly it in terms of features. And it's the same whether like I'm on the living room camera, which is the pan. You can't control any of the pan options. You can't look up and down. You can't do any of that yet. The V2, the V3, the pan, they all seem to have the exact same features, which is play and pause, mute and unmute and large screen. Now this does say editing camera groups can only be done in the Wise app for now. It'll be available through the browser view later. You can watch group devices live streamed through your browser. So I don't have any groups, but if I did have a group of like four cameras, it looks like you can watch all four of those at the same time, as long as they're on Cam Plus. Uh, this icon over here is just your account information. And then if you do click on events, you can see your event history. So like it has all of my cameras over here on the left side, the three with the plus signs, of course. And then this is some of my event history from when I was getting all of this set up. So you can come in here and, and uh, you know, view that if you needed to. That sounded like a door opening or something. Not, not entirely certain, but you can see their sound, everything. So that's uh, pretty nice and sadly, that's really it in terms of features right now as of November 29th, 2021 for the WISE web view. Now let's see if this uh, actually... And that should essentially do it for the WISE Cam WISE web view. So once you have Cam Plus activated on your cameras, and let me add, this may be something that's removed, as in you may not have to have Cam Plus in the future. Right now it seems like that it costs them more money to uh, use this type of feature, so that's why they're passing that cost on to the customers who want it. They may, may bring this feature out without any extra monthly cost. I personally think that since they're selling these cameras in PetSmart, like their pet cameras, they should really allow this web view for free. Only because there's a lot of people who may be in a situation like I mentioned, where they can't even bring their phone into the office so they can't ever check on their animals at home. I know my wife actually worked for a job where she could not even bring her phone inside the building. So it's out there. Now for a lot of other companies, they don't even offer a web view option. I know Nest used to, but now that everything switched to Google Home, they don't anymore. This is a pretty nice feature. And for $2 per camera per month, it's not that bad. I believe it's $20 per year if you just pay annually, which is even better. I'll of course pop it up here if I'm wrong. I do think that since this is very software based, they'll come out with more features. So like the pan cameras, you'll probably be able to move them and look up and down and they'll add more features over time since this is fully software based, just basically feeding you the camera using the internet through your house. Not much else I can say about it. It definitely works. You get sound, you get video, exactly what you would need. So two thumbs up to Wise for finally bringing this product to us. It's definitely been something that's been requested a lot. And I think that it'll be very, very popular once it's no longer on Cam Plus. To me, this is something that, this is like a bragging right for Wise if they can brag about having this feature since so many other cameras don't have this feature. You have to use your phone and you have, and you have to use the app. So of course, leave any comments below. I'll be glad to answer those. And that will do it for this one. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.